When I was a young girl, my parents told me that my actions would define me, that if I wanted to be good, I must tear my hands into shovels and dig away at the evil that lies all around us. They told me that it's what's inside that matters, and that people would search for the sincerity behind your eyes before taking your appearance. This was the first lie they ever told me. We live in a society where I am defined by my father's paychecks, by my mother's hair color and whether it shows, by the shoes on my feet, by the tidiness of my clothes. I was born to be confined in between four walls belonging to a man, passed from my father to my husband to my grave, as if even in the year 2016 where people traveled the entire world in mere days, a woman is unfit to travel to a home she built for herself, as if I am destined to always be a part of someone, a part of a whole, but never my own person always introduced as my father's daughter and my husband's wife, my name not being important enough to be said out loud. Instead, I wait for it to change once again as I change the hands of the man I now depend on. From the moment I hit puberty, I am auctioned off as a suitable wife, pinned and prodded to perfection, forced to trade my skin as men's desires change from loud and complex to shy and simple. I am a reflection of what I should become so that when I look in the mirror, I cannot find my beginnings and I cannot tell where I end. For I am nothing more than a sealed box, empty from the inside so that I am less of a burden. My worldly possessions of my heart and my soul unnecessarily heavy. The seal of the box, my intact hymen the only proof that I should still be defined as a good person. As if this piece of skin is what will love you so deeply, your hands will shake with intensity. As if this piece of skin is what will raise your children, teach them lessons I was never taught. As if purity can be defined by a piece of skin so thin it disintegrates by touch, my heart does not disintegrate. It is what will be left in the morning. It is what matters most. And so I nourish it with constant reassurances Hush the pain away. Tell it that society does not understand true beauty. Just look at the gardens they've left waste away. The heritage of our country tainted with the, with the scrapings of people's initials. Just look at the polluted waters of the Nile.